Welcome to the Card Dojo. My name is Sean, and this is my journey into modern day card collecting. Well, guys, it is the weekend. In fact, it is Saturday. We are doing updates, news, and mail. And most importantly, I'm sure we are giving away a couple of cards. All right? But let's do the mail first. Uh, I have one card and one card only, and that is a Gold Line Graphs Christian Okoye, and that is numbered out of 199, number 87. For the Chiefs fans at home, we know a good number 87. Uh, we have a player worn jersey as well as a fantastic autograph from the player who really got me into the Chiefs way back in the day during uh, my Tecmo Super Bowl playing days where uh, I used to run over people constantly with the Nigerian nightmare. So I'm trying to bulk up my, my Christian Okoye PC. I won this card in an auction, three bids. I won it for $5.50. And then after taxes and shipping, it came to a total of $10.08. Not too bad, all right? So coming up next, guys, we're going to get right to it. I did a little secret giveaway in my top Series 1 uh, Mega Box battle. It was Target versus Walmart. So it wasn't announced anywhere, but if you watched the entire video and left the comments, you are aware of the prize, all right? So here we have my, my personal phone, which I'm not recording on because... My work phone has 4K, and this one doesn't. Uh, we're gonna filter duplicate users. We gotta do um, we gotta do a little math. I believe the answer is 17. All right, we're gonna get the comments. There we go. We got nine comments, ladies and gentlemen. Again, it was a hidden giveaway, so rewarding those who watched the whole videos. Uh, the winner is David Hunter. Fun rip. Yankees suck, of course. Boo! Uh, you, you you don't get you don't win anymore. No, I'm kidding. You can still win, even though you're a Yankee hater, you Boston Boston fan. All right, guys, coming up next, we had the Cobra Kai of the Car Dojo. We have a Contenders um, value pack, fat pack. We don't want to body shame it. We'll call it a value pack. Uh, here we go. We're going to put it up right there. This was during the, uh, it, it was announced in the thumbnail, during my uh, fat pack multi-sport battle. So here we have uh, David. We're going to keep looking at his picture and then go over to my second tab where I have the URL for this episode. We're gonna filter duplicate users. Um, we're gonna do math again. Let's say 12. All right, here we go. Get the comments. We got 22 comments. A lot more interest when uh, you know the giveaway is announced. Here we go. Good luck, guys. The winner of the Fat Pack is Rippin' Packs. Wow, those Series 1 packs were horrible. But at least the first pack of contenders didn't tendy. Great rip, Sean. So thank you. Craig, contact me. Uh, David, contact me. Let me know where I can ship these prizes to you. All right, guys. Those were the giveaways. Uh, thank you for everyone who entered. And sorry, you know, there will be more coming up. Don't worry. Let's get to the news. Uh, probably when everyone tunes out. But hey, hey, it's fine. All right, guys? For the real ones. The NBA Finals are wrapping up. We have tomorrow, Sunday... Uh, 8.30 Eastern, we have the Celtics playing Heat in a Game 7 to determine who will take on the Golden State Warriors in the Finals. Now here on the card dojo, what we're going to do is we're going to take these two uh, mosaic blaster boxes, one of which is upside down, 2020-21. Uh, we're going to rip all of these packs and we're going to find cards from whatever teams that you know end up battling each other out. And uh, we'll give like one point for base cards, we'll give two points for parallels, we'll give three points for rookies, stuff like that. You know, Genesis might be like 100 points, who knows. I'll work out some kind of scoring system. And then we're going to rip these boxes to try to predict who will win the uh, NBA Finals. And then maybe I'll put a big bet down and I'll probably lose all of my money because I shouldn't be depending on boxes of cards to uh, determine who I bet on. But we're going to do it anyway. Maybe I'll put like a $10 bet. Uh, maybe I'll put a bet down that will cover the cost of uh, the boxes if I win. All right. Um, next up, guys, finally. Can you can you believe it? Prism is finally going to be released. Uh, right now on blowoutcards.com, you can purchase one pre-order for $1,599.95. On eBay, it's possible to find it for $1,399. Uh, the first off the line hit the bottom of the Ducks auction. Not the bottom, but hit a low of... $1,625 uh, Dutch auction through Pinini Direct. All right, so in those boxes, there are 12 packs per box, 12 cards per pack. That's 144 a gross. Uh, but of those 144 cards, 99 are base cards. That gives you an average if we're going to base it on the lower eBay cost of 
$9.72 per card. All right. Uh, the non-base cards, you're going to get two autos, 10 numbered cards, four silvers, five inserts and 24 rookies now is that worth it in my opinion not a chance uh i will not be ripping a prism hobby box but due to the third and final news is that due to the fact that it is the card dojo's anniversary coming up on june 2nd our two-year anniversary i will be doing a special rip and rather than spend all that money on a prism box i'm going to spend about half of that on a different box and I'm going to give you some clues so maybe you can figure out what box I will be ripping. One, it is not from this year. Okay. Two, it is a product that this year I consider my favorite retail product. So the same line, but just not this year's version. And three, we will be hunting for uh, rookie quarterback autographs of my favorite quarterback. So if you can't figure out what product I'm going to buy and have for you, potentially next week, hopefully on the second, if not the second, as soon as possible afterwards. Um, we're gonna do that for the Dojo anniversary and hopefully pull the first auto rookie autograph of our favorite car quarterback here at the Card Dojo. All right. Well guys, once again, congratulations to David. Congratulations to Craig. Thank you all for watching. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you so much for stopping by and take care.